and welcome back to my channel my name is Holly um, and this is a sewing channel and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a few makes that I've been sewing over the last few weeks the fabric that has been included in this video has been gifted to me by Fabricland as I work with them over on my Instagram for this make so the first garment that I made using this fabric actually let's talk about the fabric first before I start talking about the, the garments I always like to see and show you the fabric so the fabric is a um, crepe fabric um, from Fabricland um, it's part of a kit I use for this make but you can also buy it by the meter on their website I'll leave the link to that fabric down below if you want to check it out and it is this brilliant pink backed black and white leopard print fabric and as soon as I saw it on the website I thought yeah that's I want to make the top out of this fabric I think it's just great now for this um make it is a sort of a sort of a tank sleeveless um top it has two darts here each side for um, shaping around the bust and it is to the waist um, it has as I said sleeveless and a round neck that goes all the way around and then it has a little keyhole detail here because the fabric hasn't got any stretch in it you need something some sort of fastening to be able to get your head through the hole basically without <laughs> I don't know stretching the fabric so much so it's got the keyhole detail it's got a little button covered button here um, and then it has a seam running off the center back off the keyhole detail so that's the basics of the top i will show you the pattern that i used for this here we go um yeah i used the well on fabric land they do um sort of kits basically where there's quite a few pattern options um, including this pattern on the top and then you so it comes in a bundle basically so you get um, the pattern then you pick what style of fabric you want to use for your pattern and then Fabricland will then send you all the little like the button for example all the little extras that is needed to make the pattern along with matching thread so I gave that a go and the pattern that I used here is the McCall's M8059 I'll leave it again linked below if you like the look of it but it's one of these real basic um, design patterns that you kind of always need in your wardrobe um, it has four options I think quite a few options let me count one two three four five six options and it basically varies in um sleeve length so no sleeves a quarter sleeve or long sleeve or uh, length in um yeah the length basically if it's the waist or they do a slightly longer uh, pattern which is sort of a bit more hip length than waist length so that is the pattern i used now for this pattern um it's pretty simple it's like quite good easy construction it has one piece for the front and then it has two pieces at the back like i said because it's got a seam down the center back um it has a very small binding facing i don't know what they refer it to as i can't remember um around the neckline and both sleeves um yeah that was really great because yeah, so to stop you needing to hem it or anything, you just have the slight bit of binding. This is probably the more trickier skill within this pattern, but a really good skill to learn. So because you can get some really lovely, nice, clean armholes and neck holes. And there's one thing that I changed on this pattern, and it was the this section here. Um, in the pattern, it had for the um, covered button so that's normal so that's great but for the button loop it said just to use like um, a thin like a few sections of thread which would 
you'd put the bottom through which I don't think looked the best and it wasn't going to wear very good and it would just be really awkward to get on and off so instead I made myself a tiny little button loop out of the fabric um, I wrote on my blog post about this top and how I made my own button loop so I'll leave that linked below if you find that that would be something that you want to learn or do um yeah so this is my first make a beautiful sleeveless top now I'm going to wear this for and I've worn it quite a few times for yoga um yeah because it's got brilliant large quite large armholes here and it's got some movement in but it's fitted so it's light soft drapey and yeah just a great yoga top and I think it's quite a cool I like I like my yoga stuff to be quite out there and colourful and when I saw this pattern this print I thought oh that would be a really good yoga top so that is my first make I'm gonna get let's swap this over and I'll get my other make let's pop that on on her Right, so this is my second make. So for um, my first make, I actually had lots of fabric left over because in the kit, uh, Fabricland give you enough fabric to make the largest size of the pattern. So as I um, used the smallest size of the pattern, I had quite a lot of fabric left over. So um, I didn't know what I was gonna make myself, but I thought I would make something for my sister because this fabric is very her and um, yeah so she asked for a kimono and I managed to just get it out of every scrap of fabric I had left over so it was great because these two pieces were almost zero waste I literally had one kind of thin strip left because um, I used up a lot even though the top had quite a few rounded um, sections like around the neck and armhole you need to cut by binding so that created quite a lot of fabric usage of like the in-between bits of the pattern that wouldn't have got used normally so anyway so that was really I was really happy about that that there was very very little wastage like minimal sometimes you get so much wastage and it is such a waste of fabric and I don't really like it but anyway back to this so I decided to make a kimono um, I love a kimono, I have made quite a few of this pattern and I just really love them for summer and so is my sister. So this is the kimono and it's come out really well, I think it looks really good. Yeah, it was very easy to work with, um, because it was crepe I finished off all the seams with a French seam. So they got a lovely seamless look inside and so they, when you wear it because sometimes it's got some movement you're not going to have a horrible seam inside so yeah let's show you the back so this pattern has i used a pattern again for this that i had my stash from ages ago from when i started to learn to sew so it's a real old pattern and i've used it a lot um anyway so it has a kind of slight curved neck but on this pattern a lot of the lines are very straight which helps when you're trying to get a zero waste product out of some fabric so that is the back I just did a one centimeter rolled hem along the bottom and she kind of got the kimono as long as the fabric I had so it'll probably come just probably just below her bottom hopefully which will be a nice length the most difficult thing about this pattern is that you have to hem this long centre front hem and because this bit is slightly, slightly off grain onto a slight curve, it does have, you have to be careful not to stretch it. So for this pattern I definitely recommend stay stitching this area first, but that's the only probably tricky thing that you kind of need to master for this pattern. 
otherwise this is a great first time learner beginner sewer pattern i'll just get it for you oh we got it yeah this is the pattern i think i might have shown you this before because i've made a white lace um kimono i'll leave that video linked below if you want to check that out how i used complete white lace to make a kimono but anyway the pattern that i used is the Butterix Fast and Easy B6176. So I'll leave that linked below as well if you want to check it out. And this has one, two, three, four, six again, six different styles of kimono, varying from trims, shapes, and lengths. Like one of the options has a bit more of a curved section here. This is a straight option, and I think the curve could be a little bit difficult if you're new to um, hemming lightweight fabrics on a bias cut so just be wary of that but yeah so let's put this, on. this is my second make that I decided to use and it, I was so glad I'm really glad how it's come out like it was such a good use from some scrap fabric right so Thank you for watching and let me share with you what I've been making these last few weeks. Um, yes, I'm on to my next make, um, and which is a really, really exciting make. So if you uh, don't follow me over on Instagram, um, yeah, follow me over there and I'll show you. That's when I first show what I've been making, some progress photos, but I've got a really good project that I'm working with, with a really great brand over there. So I'll also leave my Instagram handle below so you can follow me over there but thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon